So in this video, we're going to talk about the idea of restricted rotation and what would restrict, you know, a particular atom that you're looking for um, to kind of rotate freely, right? What would restrict those from rotating freely, right? What would restrict that? Well, the things I want you to consider is pi bonds, right, and sigma bonds. Sigma bonds have free rotation around the atom. Pi bonds, these are restricted. So essentially what you're looking for in these problems is just some sort of double bond, right? So, you know, if on an exam you were given something of this nature, you're given four molecules and they may ask you, okay, well, circle the compound that has restricted rotation around a carbon atom. Well, if I look at all these carbon atoms here, I have free rotation, right? There are no sigma bonds. I have a CH3 here, I have a hydroxyl group here, and I have a, and I have a hydrogen. So three different things bonded to my carbon. Free rotation, right? Sigma bonds, right? And again, these carbons here was just hydrogens on them. So this can be the answer. Again, taking a look at this, all our carbons have free rotation. Right, there's three different things bonded to each of these carbons. There are no sig there, there are no pi bonds. So pi bonds are what we're looking for. And th those are restricted. Again, this right here, you can see that around all our, uh, our carbons, we have free rotation. Right, we have free rotation. Um, SP3 hybridized carbons will always give you free rotation. SP3 hybridized carbons, free rotation. All right, so this has no restricted rotation around any of these carbon atoms. Again, again, all sp3, all sp3, sp3 hybridized. So maybe I should throw that in. Look for sp3 hybridized carbons. Sp3 hybrid, sp. Oh well, let me rephrase that. Sp3 hybridized carbons have uh, free rotation. Free rotation about them. What you're looking for is is uh, are, you know, double bonds, right? So if I take a look at this compound here, what do I see? Well, I see a double bond here. I see a pi bond here. And uh, this carbon now three, is now sp2 hybridized. sp2 hybridized, all right? So you, wonder for, so you wonder for sp2 hybridized carbons or atoms uh, with some sort of double bond. Double bond prevents uh, free rotation. So that's all these problems are about. Looking for double bonds, looking for your pi bonds and identifying that, okay, well, I'm going to have some sort of restricted rotation around this since my carbon atom in this case is not able to rotate freely because of the, of the double bond. Again, right? So again, nothing simple. It's pretty straightforward. And guys, put this in your head. It does not have to be a carbon atom. It could be a nitrogen atom. So in this case, I just have all, you know, molecules that, that involves carbon, but uh, nitrogens, you'll, you'll also see commonly, but it doesn't have to be carbon. It could be around sulfur, all that good stuff.